Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general love reading for August 2021 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to resonate for all of you but of course you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading and because this is general it also means that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see what is going on with Scorpio. What is the overall energy for August? Or actually the first half of August. All right, and we have nostalgia. All right, so when this card shows up, obviously I feel like the two of you or you and another person are just not in a lot of contact and this is why there would be this nostalgia or if you are in contact it could be having nostalgia for the way things used to be at a different point in time. So let's get into this and see and definitely picking up on this actually being the both of you, both of you feeling this nostalgia for each other. So let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, first half of August 2021. And I actually do have Maddox on the desk, <laughs> they're with me. You can't really see him, but his little paws are like right here, right here. <laughs> All right, okay, so let's see. For Scorpio, the situation, we have the Six of Wands crossed by the King of Swords. All right, so somebody is definitely wanting um, success here, all right, when it comes to this connection. It's almost even coming through as a little bit of ego, maybe, um, that is playing out here. And really what this is about, I feel like it's somebody just not having the confidence or just not feeling determined enough to really take action here. Um, it's interesting the way that this is coming through. It, it almost comes through as somebody who is putting up a front almost, you know, acting like they're so confident or, you know, it might just feel like they are, you know, just so cool and there's this, it's this ego, but the ego is there to kind of cover up the lack of the lack of courage and so it's, it's coming off as it's coming off as this person just really putting up a front or having a, like a big sense of ego let's let's see a little bit more so recent past we have the page of swords near future we have the five of swords all right so a lot of swords coming up some of you might be dealing with an air sign um, I feel like even recently, I, I would even say even, even currently, um, somebody has really been curious and following what the other person is doing. So to me, it, it actually feels like it's the both of you. Just like there's nostalgia for the both of you, I feel like this energy is also for the both of you. Kind of just following each other from a distance, watching each other from a distance. And I feel like, you know, because this person is kind of trying to protect their own self, trying to protect the fact that uh, they're trying to protect their own self because they don't, I feel like there's a lot of insecurity, a lot of insecurity. And this is actually not going to lead to something pleasant for them. I feel like this is actually going to backfire in a way where it's going to be obvious to them that, well, okay, this isn't working. This is not getting me what I want because they do have this urge. They do have this desire um, for this connection. All right, so let's see. I mean, and this could be you. Obviously, the roles can be reversed. This is just how it's coming through to me. I don't feel like this is your energy. Um, for you, we have the Ace of Cups. For them, we have the King of Cups. I'm telling you, you're both feeling the same way about each other. Um, more about you is strength. For them, the Knight of Wands and potential outcome here is the hermit. Okay, Scorpio. You have a lot of love for them. They have a lot of love for you. All right, the emotions are there. It really feels like there's this huge insecurity that this person is holding on to, which is going to backfire. Um, 
you're trying to just stand strong through all of this because I feel like it is hurting you. Obviously, if you have these feelings here and then there's the nostalgia and this person is just not taking action, you're trying to stand real strong throughout this process and I feel like you are doing a good job at that. Um, your person here with the Knight of Wands, they want to take action. This is what I'm talking about. They want to, but they need to really find that King of Swords within them or that King of Wands, right? Rather than the Knight of Wands because this, this Knight of Wands can be a little inconsistent. So maybe there has been some in and out, um, mixed messages even because they, they're having a hard time really just being having that determination to get over this insecurity and just come forward and go after what they want. So we do have the Hermit as the potential outcome though. So yeah, I'm going to leave that and we'll see when we clarify because it could be, it could be a couple of things. All right, so let's clarify the Six of Wands and the King of Swords. All right, so we have the Six of Cups. There's that nostalgia showing up again. The Sun and the Six of Swords. Somebody's avoiding here. Um, definitely, definitely wanting a reconciliation. Definitely feeling that longing, thinking about the past. And when the, when there's this thinking about the past, and I do feel like again, this is your person, um, unless the roles are reversed. They they think about the past in a very positive way. Like they're remembering all the good times and how you know happy it was and just how fulfilling it felt and the happiness and all of that. Um, but we have the Six of Swords, um, because I feel like this also brings up that anxiety, it brings up that, that insecurity, you know, of having to come back for that, for whatever reason, right, and it's going to be different for each of them. And so because of that, they're trying to kind of be like, all right, you know, leave that in the past. The past is the past. I'm good. I'm good. Again, it's, it's a front that this person is putting up. And I'm not trying to justify them by any means. I'm just reading the energy. All right. So let's clarify the Ace of Cups for your energy. Or just get more information here. Eight of Pentacles and the Star. Okay, so I feel like you, you've you actually done a lot. You've done a lot of work. I feel like you've even... Okay, you've done a lot of work on yourself, for sure. All right, finding that self-love, putting in the, the effort. Um, but I feel like there's also that part of you that has also put in a lot of effort and energy, possibly time and energy for this person trying to get the result that you want, you know, it's like having this hope, you've been holding on to this hope, and I feel like holding on to that hope um, has just taken a lot from you, and I'm not judging that, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, there's definitely, you know, some lessons in this or some growth for you, and, you know, it's just natural, all right? That's just human sometimes. But I feel like this has definitely um, just taken up a lot of your time and, and energy. And I feel like you're, you're feeling that. You're realizing that. And that's why you're, you're really trying to work on your strength at the moment. I feel it's so that it doesn't take up any more of your time and energy in the way that it has been. So let's clarify strength. Alright, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, and I feel like this wanted to come out, and it is the Moon, so Pisces energy showing up here. Yeah, you're, okay, I feel like you're trying to go with the flow, kind of like, you know what, if this person wants to have this type of a connection where it is holding back 
from feelings, then so be it. I feel like you still, I mean, obviously you don't like that. It's, it's creating a little bit, there's still this fear within you. There's still some doubts within you as to whether you can be strong enough to actually cope with the situation in the way that it is. Um, but you do have that strength, all right? You do have that strength to get through this. That's the message I'm getting here. You're definitely getting stronger. You're definitely getting stronger even though you're still you're still holding on to this because this love is there and I feel like you know that because you know that this person has these feelings for you so naturally you're going to have hope. Naturally you're going to feel like, you know, well, I mean the feelings are there so it's bound to happen at some point. But at the same time, you know, you're, you also have these doubts and I feel like those doubts create some kind of a fear, a fear of this not happening. But again, you are, you are dealing with it. You are finding that strength within you to just, you know, to just go with the flow, go with what? What this, that's what the situation is, well then that's what it is. There's not much I can do about it and like I said, you know, not wanting to put in more effort and more time for something where, you know, the other person is not showing their side, their, um, their part in this. I feel like you, this is what you would want. You know, you, in order for you to continue on with this person, you would want them to, you know, do their part. Teamwork. Give their... 50% or they're 100% in this. So let's see what's actually going on with them. Let's clarify the King of Cups. Right, the Three of Wands and the King of Cups again. Okay, wow, when I tell you that these feelings are strong, these feelings are strong. Those, the love is there, that's the thing. And But this person is stalling. What are they waiting for? They're... It feels like this person is like living, um, living almost in the future. Like feeling like, yeah, you know, um, they're avoiding it on the one hand, or avoiding thinking about the past, or they're thinking about the past, they try not to think about the past, or trying to avoid the situation, and then they're thinking about the future. So it's kind of like, you know, but what about the now? I feel like that is what this person um, would benefit by focusing on the now and taking action in the here and now, rather than worrying about their ego and their insecurity and how they might appear or whatever, whatever their ego issue is here, which you might know. Let's see the Knight of Wands. All right, okay. So we have the Lovers, the Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. So again, that those those feelings, those emotions, the this connection, the strength of it, it's showing up again here with the lovers. This person is definitely into you. So I can see why you why this would be so difficult for you because you know that, you know that. Um, I feel like this person is getting tired of the of the confusion and of this in and out. Um, it's really beginning to weigh heavy on them, and I feel like it's really beginning to. It's, it's getting old <laughs> to be, just to be really honest about it. It, it. That's how it's feeling to them as well. Like, okay, this is getting old. Um, again, it, but it feels like, you know, they, they live in the, like this fantasy world, like, you know, things are just going to magically happen, but really they need to take care of that insecurity. And I feel like they are, um, it's not showing up just yet. But I feel like they are just because, like I said, it's getting old. And I feel like they're they're feeling that. It's beginning to weigh really, really heavy on them. So 
I do feel like that is a first step here, but let's clarify the Five of Swords in the near future. Let's see what's going on with that. Alright, the High Priestess, the Three of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so I gotta be honest, right? Um, I feel like this person is still putting up a defense mechanism even though they know, okay, they do, I feel like their intuition is beginning to kick in here, all right? Firstly, because they feel like this is getting old, like this is getting so tiring, this in and out, like it's just wearing them out as well. Um, and then their intuition is there. I feel like they're still kind of putting up that front here with that Seven of Wands, but it's, like I said, it's creating a lot of pain for them coming up, more so than it has so far. So it's really going to throw them in this energy of, you know what, all right, so when I block out my intuition, I feel pain. I'm feeling nostalgia. Um, it's backfiring, basically. It's backfiring on them. So let's actually see the um, the potential outcome here with the Hermit. This potential outcome, keep in mind, is just for this time frame, okay? Which, give or take, first half of August. It's going to be different for everybody. Right, let's see. And of course, everybody's situation is different. Alright, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Terrifying the Hermit. Okay, so I actually feel like this is going to be some really deep soul searching for this person. Um, a lot of finding that sense of self-worth, finding that sense of security within themselves. All right, so yes, it is It is positive. It's not, ex I don't not exactly see that action happening, but like I said, um, it is a progression, right? From understanding that this is getting old, it's backfiring, you know, me being this way, it just doesn't really get me what I want because I do have so much love for this Scorpio person or vice versa. And it's going to get them to think a lot. So. A lot of deep soul searching, which I don't think is going to be easy. And this is going to be actually, you know, finding their sense of self-worth and understanding what it is that is making them unhappy here because they're not happy, obviously, all right? Being disappointed with their own self for the way that they've been acting and trying to find a solution for that, all right? So they're beginning to take some steps here with the Seven of Pentacles, beginning to take steps. And actually, the first step is actually finding that sense of self-worth and overcoming this insecurity of their own self in order to do that. So, yeah. And I think you're, you're, you're doing fine as well. We also got um, Virgo on the table, of course. Possibly another water sign as well. All right, so Scorpio, if this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. All right, and we have flexible. I think Leo got this. Um, yeah, so this is a message for you, you know, to like just go with the flow. Don't, you don't need to put in effort. You don't need to try for anything here. All right, let things be, let this person work out whatever it is that they need to work out and be flexible in, in the way that you just, you know, continue on moving with your own life here. All right. Um, because with the four of pentacles, I do feel like that showed up here as well for you, that maybe there might be just a little bit of rigid rigidness for how things should be, or there was. And I do feel like you're letting go of that. So flexible would be you know, releasing that standard of how exactly how things need to unfold for you, all right, for you and your own self. 
So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching Scorpio and much love.